Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a guide for those of you who are level 1000 and higher. If you are below level 1000, I did a guide for that too, so you can check that out before clicking on this video. Before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. And we don't ask for subscriptions here, instead we will compete them for rock, paper, scissors. And if you lose, you have to subscribe to the channel. 3, 2, 1. You possibly lost to a pre-recorded video. So go on, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, first things first, try and complete the daily quest. You can go through a loophole, I guess, is by creating an alternative account. You have a phone, I'm pretty sure most of you already have a phone. Or if not, download Roblox on your Windows computer. You're through the Windows Store and destroy your alternative account and complete the daily quest through that. And the, di the diamonds are actually priceless because you can exchange them for data, therefore making you more stronger. Another thing is please check the world boss. The world boss gives a lot of experience, coins, and a lot of data. And of course there is the grind quest that comes with the world boss so please click on that before actually destroying the world boss. There will always be some people trying to destroy the world boss because gene mutations are that well hard to get because the world boss comes in every so often. Okay now we got that out of the way let's go to the hardcore grinding part of this video. So if you're level 1000 you won't be able to get to infinite mountain yet. So we'll be starting with net island for level 641 but because you're level 1000 not yet 1200 we will still be grinding on net island. Now net island is not too bad because you could get blitz greymon and Press Guru my parts to get uh, Omnimon Alter S and then Alter B. So it's not that bad that you have to grind here a lot longer than the other areas. As always, pick the strongest Digimon that you have currently in your inventory, aka whoever has the most data in your inventory. That is your strongest Digimon. You should always try and complete the grind quest because it gives you free experience, free coins, and some random data that could or may not benefit you. You're already trying to destroy the boss in this area, so you might as well get the grind quest as well. You should also try and walk around a little bit, get these metal Edamons to spawn, because they give pretty good drops like Blitz Greymon and Kreskarumon and sometimes even Sovereigns. Oh yes, another thing before I forget, which is really really important. Chests. They are literally a bundle of experience and coins. You should be looking out for these chests whenever you can. For higher levels, chests aren't that appealing. But for those who are low levels, aka level 1000 to 3000, these chests are really valuable. I did a video on all the chest locations on the right hand corner, so you can click on that because they are really really good and they will give you a lot of experience and levels. Now, what do you know? We got a legendary chest here and I can pretty much show you how good these chests are and there you go we have a lot of coins some data and a lot of experience but because I'm already max level these chests aren't that appealing and it looks like the chests in the spawn would you look at that and even a common chest don't leave any chests behind even common chests are pretty good well so yeah I think that pretty much covers it for the level 1000s here and that's pretty much what you have to do and because the world boss and chest gives so much experience and stuff 
I'm pretty sure you will not be level 1000 for a very long time. So we'll be going to Infinite Mountain where you are level 1200. Okay, so here we are, Infinite Mountain. Things are about to get tricky. The reason why I say things are about to get tricky is because there's a 600 level gap between that island and Infinite Mountain. King Edamon was originally 4, level 600, and of course higher, but 4 level 600. Because of that gap, the boss here is a bit, well, way more stronger than King Edamon. A rule of thumb for those who are soloing is that if you cannot beat the boss here within 10 full rotations of your skills, aka moves that you have, then go back to Net Island and keep grinding King Edamon and you'll be way better off than grinding here wasting 15-10 minutes on trying to attack the boss here. Well, the minions here aren't that good, but if you can one-shot them or two-shot them, then that is great, you can stay here. But if you can't, go back to that island, you'll be way better off in that place. And if you think you're strong enough, you can always come back here and attack the boss here. Because the boss here is really, really good. It gives you Omnimon and Omnimon Zort, which is really good Digimons to have. Or here's another option, use your diamonds, buy the data that you need to defeat the boss here. It might take a, a thousand or so diamonds, but hey, the boss here is really really valuable. Let's go to the dark dungeon. Okay, we are here. You are level 2500 and we're in the dark dungeon. It is most likely you cannot solo the boss here, but you can always try. You might get your ass whooped, but you can always try. But we're here and we're trying to get these Magnadramon. These guys are pretty good. I say they spawn more frequent than the boss outside in the Infinite Mountain. The two good drops they get out is Omnimon and Omnimon Zor. And they give Millenniumon, which is a pretty good Digimon to have. So these three drops are really really good, and they spawn way more frequent than the bosses in Infinite Mountain. So Mega Dramon is the place to go, and usually for some odd reason, Mega Dramon spawn usually two of them spawn here. But it could be the update, and it's no longer two that spawn, and only one. Things could change in every update, as I said. So, it could be new information, or I'm in a glitch server. Because I don't see these chests despawning. Usually they despawn by now, but it's okay. Usually there's two Mega Dramons that spawn in that chest room. Make sure you destroy the Mega Dramon that spawn near you. So, two of them can spawn, because usually one will spawn in the uh, chest room and the other will spawn near you, that's why there's always two. Remember when I said things are got going to get tricky, you're probably wondering why aren't we getting the grind quest and immediately trying to charge at Moon Millennium on. Well, because we don't do enough damage, or if you do, go for it. Go get the grind quest and charge at Moon Millennium on. But for those who are weak and cannot charge at Moon Millennium on, we are going to be farming Mega Dramons and getting that Omnimon and Zor Omnimon. Because these two Digimons, I know for sure, can defeat Moon Millennium on or solo them at very very fast rates. So, uh, I'll be demonstrating that very very soon. Okay, here I am with Omnimon Zort. I do have max uh, data or max stats for Omnimon Zort, but uh, you can still do pretty good damage even with quite a few thousand with Omnimon. I say about at 3,000 or 2,000 data sets, you could solo Moon Millennium on. 
So yeah, you'll be grinding Mega Dramon a very, very long time, but it is pretty, pretty worth it because you'll be getting Genesis Code, aka Omnimon Alter S, and at that point, you could solo the uh, Divine Boss for level 5000s. So yeah, if you have a good amount of Omnimon or Omnimon Zord, get that grind quest and attack Moon Millennium on, and you're pretty much off from there. So, well, we're gonna go off to the dark area, and we're gonna show you why Genesis Code is really, really good. Uh, let's go there. Okay, let's everything load. And yeah, I'll be demonstrating why Genesis Code is really good. And okay, I'm stuck. That sucks. Okay, can we get out? All right, nice, we can. Can we rest let's restore our health all the way to full? Is this cauldron, health cauldron? No. Eh, we're we're gonna get full health soon anyway. So let's go to the divine boss Zed Millennium on. He's a chain, but whatever. Pretty strong, 3.9 billion health. His first move will do a lot of damage. But, well, we got health chips, aka health potions. We're gonna heal all the way up to our full health and attacking Millennium on. So we're gonna be spamming our moves as much as I can and I keep missing my abilities. I suck. Well, if you don't suck as much as I do, you pretty you will be landing these moves. And I miss my beam attack again. Fun. Okay, I missed a lot. <laughs> All right, and we're destroying him. We're getting him low, and there we go. Soloed Zed Millennium on, and yeah, that is why Genesis Code is pretty good. So, just a quick recap. We are farming Mega Dramon for that Omnimon and Omnimon sort. So then we could solo Moon Millennium on and get Genesis Code and Genesis Code max stats. We could solo the Divine Boss Seed Millennium on. That is it. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.